Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Have you ever dreamt of living in a country where all your living expenses are under $1,000 and you're extremely comfortable? So this list has been created based on accommodation and living expenses per month for a single person living on their own. None of the countries on this list will be from Europe and the data collected are from friends who are living in these countries and who have lived in these countries plus lots of price comparisons based on the countries selected. So here are 10 of the cheapest countries to live in around the world. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number 10, Cambodia. Cambodia is centrally located in Southeast Asia. Its capital city is Phnom Penh and its total population is around 16 million people bordering Thailand, Laos and Vietnam. Overall, the cost of living in Cambodia is relatively cheap, costing under $1,000 a month. Renting a small one-bedroom studio apartment is best in one of the cheapest cities in Cambodia, Sinopville, which will cost you around $240 a month, or $32 a night in an Airbnb if it's short stay. But it comes with a massive warning because over-tourism has completely destroyed this area, once a gem, now full of unshaven backpackers. So I suggest these places on the screen. Number 9. Thailand A country located in the center of Southeast Asia, with 76 provinces. Thailand is the 50th largest country in the world, with a total population of just 69 million people. That is massive. Living costs are incredibly low here, even in the big cities like Bangkok and Chiang Mai. But beach resorts tend to be slightly more expensive, but are still cheap compared to other beach resorts around the world. However, a one-bedroom studio apartment in one of the cheapest cities in Yudon Thani, or Yudon Thani, will cost you around $199 a month, or your big spender, $40 a night in an Airbnb, which is really luxurious. By the way, when I mention Airbnbs, I know they're not cheap because I don't do $40 a night, but I'm just comparing the differences between the studio apartments and an Airbnb. Number 8. Malaysia Costing as little as $588 a month for basic accommodation and living expenses. Like the previous two countries, Malaysia is also located in the Southeast Asia and borders Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia. Malaysia has a total population of 31.6 million people and Kuala Lumpur is its capital city. So when booking accommodation, you'll be looking at spending around $209 a month for a one-bedroom apartment in one of the cheapest cities like Kota Kinabalu, or $35 a night for an Airbnb. So in Malaysia, you can enjoy a beer for $1.57, a coffee for $0.60, cents, and a basic meal out for dinner for $1.69. Number seven is Mexico. Mexico can be found in the southernmost portion of the United States. As well as bordering the US, it also borders the Pacific Ocean, Guatemala, Belize, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. It's the fifth largest nation in the Americas, with a current population of just 129 people. My God! A month in a one-bedroom studio apartment 
in one of the cheapest cities in Mexico, Querétaro, will cost you around $256 a month or $24 a night in an Airbnb. So when it comes to the essentials, like coffee, eating out, $154 for a beer, $1 for a coffee, and $3.10 for a meal out. Bargain. Number six, Peru. Peru is a country located in the western part of South America. It borders Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Bolivia, Bolivia, Chile, and the Pacific Ocean. Its current population is over 32 million people. For an average living cost of around $543 a month, this Spanish-speaking country is well worth you checking out if you're looking for a cheap place to live. So when booking your accommodation, you'll be looking at spending around $198 a month for a one-bedroom apartment in the city centre. So these prices are based on the city of Arequipa. So while you're there, you're going to obviously need to eat and drink. So a normal size beer will cost you $1.47. A coffee, that are just under $1. And a meal out can be as little as $2.94. So, es grande si hablas español. Number five, Argentina. Another Spanish speaking country located in the southern half of South America. For $542 a month, it can get you a single person accommodation and living expenses for a whole month in one of the cheapest cities in Argentina, Salta. Argentina is the eighth largest country in the world, with a population of just over 44 million people. So if you're considering living in Argentina, as it's one of the cheapest countries in the world, then you'll be pleased to know that you can get a one-bedroom apartment for at least $100 a month. This will be located in the city of Salta. A local meal out will cost you approximately $1.70, beer is around 80 cents and coffee is roughly 55 cents. What the fuck am I doing here? Number four, Vietnam. Vietnam will cost you $500 a month to live on, as it's one of the cheapest countries in the world by far. It's the easternmost country in Southeast Asia and shares borders between China, Laos, and Cambodia. Vietnam has a massive population with 95 million people. When choosing a place to stay in Vietnam, the cheapest city is Nha Trang, and it will cost you around $259 a month for a one-bedroom apartment in the city, or $24 a night in an Airbnb. All your other essentials like food, beer, coffee will approximately cost $0.58 cents for a coffee, just under a dollar for a beer, $1.73 for a meal will probably be able to find even more cheaper accommodation and activities as well as food. Number three, Nepal. Breaking the $500 a month mark is Nepal. Located in Southeast Asia, mainly in the Himalayas, the country borders India and China with a total current population of 29.3 million people. It's actually the 48th largest country by population and the 93rd largest country by area in the world. But $164 will get you a one bedroom studio apartment in one of Nepal's cheapest cities, Pokhara or Pokhara. Or you can spend $23 a night in an Airbnb. Wonderful coffee is going to cost you at least 70 cents and a meal out can cost you around two dollars. Number 
Number two, Bolivia. Whenever I think of Bolivia, I think of crazy, mad headaches. A landlocked country located in the western part of South America. Its current population is just over 11 million. Bolivia is the fifth largest country in South America and the 27th largest country in the world. A one bedroom studio apartment in La Paz, one of the cheapest cities in Bolivia, will cost you around $145 a month or $23 a night in an Airbnb. Which clearly means that staying in Airbnbs in any one of these places is kind of pointless. Both beer and coffee cost around $1 each. It certainly won't break the bank when eating out. And finally, the cheapest place to live in on this list worldwide is Indonesia. Located between the Indian and Pacific Oceans in Southeast Asia, home to approximately 17,000 islands, it's the world's largest island country and has a population of a whopping 264 souls, which also makes it the world's fourth most populated country. And it's kind of funny that the number one place is heavily populated. That's nuts. Anyway, Places like Sengigi in Lombok can provide you with accommodation and living expenses for as little as $340 a month. You're looking at paying approximately $142 a month for a one bedroom studio apartment or $12 a night for a hotel. A luxury essentials, 10 cents for a coconut, 71 cents for a coffee, or $1.77 for a meal out. Obviously, you may even find a place that's cheaper. Well, there you have it, folks. Indonesia was the most desired place and the cheapest for those who live on this side of the world. With 17,000 islands, let's all quit our jobs now and I will see you there. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.